try to go up with a simplex and if you notice I put wood on top of the blocks so or steel to concrete will generally break the concrete. I want to absorb that shock. Uh, this is a simplex jack and uh, it's not a very common jack nor would it be something you want to uh, buy because they're quite expensive. Uh, I didn't pay a lot for it and anyway I'm using it to catch on this 2 by 6 frame in lieu of digging out a hole to put in wood and a jack, a hydraulic jack, which this is low enough I would have to. Uh, some of the problem that we're gonna deal with is that tree that has grown into the side. It may hang on to the building since it kinda of grew around it. And I don't know that. It's lifting it up, we're loose, uh, but I don't know that it's gonna hold up to the, the, the you know, the uh, lifting of the whole building. We'll find out. You want to get the little jack under there now? Well, I would guess we're going to have to dig out. We have mm -hmm. to have a hammer. We'll come back in just a minute. I don't know if you noticed, but we had to dig for a while, dig through roots, and we put a 20 ton hydraulic jack, uh, which we got, uh, this one's a very inexpensive one at Harbor Freight, I think it's a hundred bucks. Um, and we're gonna see if we can't bring, help this simplex jack raise this house up and get it out of that tree. I don't, I don't know yet if she wants me to cut that tree down which probably gives it a lot of shade or not. But we are going to proceed and try to make progress. Like it's coming out of the tree. I better not get too <laughs> energetic. Let your jack carry some weight. Wait, where we need to be or not? I doubt it. We we'll take this water level. And we will see where we need to be. You don't want level. Oh. You can. <laughs> Make everybody drunk. Uh, yeah, we got to go at least another inch, maybe inch and a quarter. Brushing this two by six. on the side where I can see better. A little more it looks like. Though not much. Now I want to Yeah. The block is sitting all crooked. All right, so this is what we're gonna do is we got this up. Now we gotta build up all the ones that are across the front here. And so maybe build up the ones on, on down that side and uh, see how we came out of the tree. Show them over there where we come out of the tree. I think this root drew up around this block.
like I'm gonna get this block out. Okay. Just gotta go with that. Um, I don't think she wants to spend a whole lot of money. I'm gonna keep my hands clear from being in there. Unless he puts his hand in there. I decided to come down right when I put my hand in there. Uh, let me get a board over here. Half pads are over here. Well, we might be able to use a half pad. That's a good idea. I wouldn't say that's good to have, but that'll work. We'll work on what we have to, right? Or else we're going to be spending a lot of money cutting our root out, huh? Yeah, we can spend a lot of money. A lot of money in labor. Uh, let me put something right here on this. Let me follow him. That one's got to be shimmed up. So many of those back there. I'm going to be very interested in the camera. Alright, all four of those are set. Let's go down. Well, let's check the back. Might be able to pull that from there. Water level? I think I'll move my simplex jack down to that far end and we'll use the hydraulic jack we have to in the center. Okay. Raise it up. Constantly looking for snakes, right, Dan? For what? Snakes. Yeah, you gotta keep your eye out. And uh, snakes are not looking for me, but the ticks are, and the chickers. Okay, I don't think you'll be able to carry all that weight, but I'll get you the. Water level. Just put a half pad on the top of that half pad. Okay, we'll come back.